Now let's do the part two. Let's learn how to create a motion tweet. So again, I'm going to create a new layer in my timeline and I'm going to call this layer as blue ball. And I don't want to start working from frame one onwards because from frame one, I'm seeing the red ball animation already. So I'm going to click on uh, frame 11 of blue ball layer and I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on insert blank keyframe. Now in this place, I'm going to add another ball. So I'm going to go to my toolbar and I'm going to click on the oval tool. I don't need a stroke outline and this time I'm going to select the blue radial gradient uh, because our layer name is blue ball. So I'm going to click on blue and I'm going to draw the blue ball here. And now I'm going to go to the frame 50 of my blue ball layer. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on insert keyframe. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to convert my blue circle into a symbol. So I'm going to click on the selection tool from my toolbar and I'm going to click, hold and draw a square around the shape so that it is selected. And I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to click on convert to symbol and I'm going to call it as blue ball. And I'm going to select the graphic as type and press OK. Now that you see, it says symbol and let's animate for motion tween. So in my layer blue ball at frame 50, I'm going to right click and I'm going to click on insert keyframe. And I'm going to click anywhere between frame 11 and 50 in my blue ball layer. And I am going to click on create motion tween. Now, once I do that, you will see my blue ball layer has a blue rectangle uh, tween in here that shows it is a motion tween, but I can set a path to it now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define the path for the blue ball. So it's not just going in one straight line. It's going to follow an assigned path. So at team, I'm going to click, hold, and draw the ball, and I'm going to put it all the way until the ground because I want the ball to bounce on the ground, not below the ground. So I'm going to now click on layer 20, and again, I'm going to move the ball to a different position. And I'm going to click again on layer 25, and I'm going to move the ball again down. And I'm going to click on layer 30 again, and move the ball again. And at layer 35, I'm going to move the ball down again. And at layer 40, and at layer 40, I'm going to take the ball outside the stage. So as you can see, I have defined a path for the ball to follow. So when I click on frame 11 of blue ball layer and I click on play, you will see the ball is following the certain path. Now the last thing I want to show you in my path is I'm going to use, um, I'm going to modify, edit the path to make it a little more smooth and curved. So right now they are in straight lines, angles, and I'm going to make a smooth curve. So I'm going to go to my toolbar, I'm going to click on my selection tool, and this is what I have already taught you before. And I'm going to click, I'm going to put my mouse over the line so that I see a curved line below the arrow. And I can move this and make it a little smoother line. I'm going to do this with this line. I'm going to make it a little smoother line. And I can move this little uh, shape in here, make it more smoother. Move this little bit here move this little bit here, and I'm going to click on play, and you'll see the ball is following that path. So this is what a motion tween is. So you can see the difference between a classic tween, that that's just a basic movement of the red ball going from left to right, and the blue ball following a certain path. I would also like you to show one more thing. Uh, so you could go to the menu, click on control, and you can click on test movie and you could select in browser and it will export it to a script and you could see this in your html file where the animation is happening